Northgate Mall in Durham, North Carolina has been going through some hard times. The loss of Macy's, and more recently, Sears, has not been kind to this mall, leaving it with just a movie theater as an anchor. Is there any coming back for this mall? Let's discuss the mall's situation as we tour the interior. Northgate Mall traces its roots all the way back to 1960, when W. Keenan Rand developed an open-air shopping center with the original tenants Roses, Kerr Drug, and a cinema which came in later at 1962. However, as competition began to rise in 1973, the developers brought in Atalheimers and Sears and connected the two stores with an enclosed corridor, thus officially beginning the Northgate Mall. The mall rose in popularity and in 1986 would receive its first expansion. Talheimers would relocate to a new store at the east side of the mall accompanied with additional shops. A year later, portions of the original shopping center would be torn down in favor of a new food court. Businesses in the original strip center would relocate to a new strip mall called the Shops at Northgate. Kerr Drug would relocate next to Sears, while Roses would remain until closing in 1992. Hecht, shortly after acquiring Thalheimer's, would relocate to the south end of the mall, while the former Thalheimer space would become occupied by Belk's Hudson Partnership. As a side note, the mall was reported to have a basement, where a company known as Measurement Incorporated would operate towards the close of the 20th century, before relocating to its own office block elsewhere. On the south end of Durham, We'd hear word of the streets at South Point opening up around 2002, and this would likely begin Northgate Mall's decline. Bit by bit, national chains would begin to move to the big, shiny new mall, causing vacancy to rise. This vacancy was mitigated, however, by a number of mom-and-pop stores coming in to take their place. The closer South Square Mall would have died, though, helping soften the impact South Point would have on Northgate. Belk would close down in 2003, and its space would be redeveloped into a shiny new Phoenix Theaters 10-screen Cineplex in 2005. Today, that theater still continues operations as Northgate Stadium Cinemas. However, as the 2000s progressed, crime began to spike at the mall. Violent fights would break out, including a fatal stabbing that occurred around 2007. Despite the crime, Northgate Mall managed to live its life doing relatively well. However, disaster struck in 2017, as Macy's announced they would close their location at the Northgate Mall as a result of a poor holiday season back in 2016. This spurred a movement to move Northgate from traditional retail to a mixed-use facility, trying to draw in office space, fitness activities, entertainment, and seasonal operations. It wasn't all bad news, however, as Macy's space was quickly sold off to Duke Health, whom is reported to have set up clinic space as well as administrative offices in the former Anchor.
Northgate's downward spiral would continue as Sears sold their building to Northwood Investors, whom had allowed Sears to continue operations, until they announced closure in late 2018. December of that year, Northgate Associates sold them all to Northwood in an effort to avoid foreclosure, the sale going for the low, low price of $34.5 million. And finally, Sears would become seared in March 2019, leaving them all with only the movie theater to anchor it as of the making of this video. Northgate Mall today sits with an unclear future, like many malls across the nation. While we're touring Sears in its final days, Sears has not totally gone out of business yet. They were recently able to secure bankruptcy protection and effectively wipe their debt and create a new slate. While we can question whether or not this move was legal, and while stores continue to close quietly, Sears lives to serve another day, for now. Wandering through these emptying Sears stores, I like to look for certain Sears memorabilia to try and buy and take home with me. Many in, the, in this retail community have managed to score some of their own, but I have been unsuccessful in my own efforts. And the one time I did find something worth taking home, the employees refused to sell despite the liquidation claiming everything must go. Maybe someday I'll get a hold of what I'm looking for. Today is not that day, however. What's to be done with an empty Sears store? Well, we already have offices and a clinic sharing the Macy's space, and while something similar could certainly be done with the space, it would be best to look towards somewhere else. Entertainment might be an option as well, like a round one or a tilt studio, but we already have a movie theater satisfying entertainment needs. I suppose at the very least, the Sears space could be used for non-profit events and charities, as I've seen something similar done at other malls. Whatever the case is, management should fill the space in as quick as they can. So, onward to Northgate Mall, and I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I don't like the way it looks. I find it very bland and dull, the only flare left being seen in some of the storefronts, vacant and occupied, as well as the ceiling, which boasts some interesting shapes and kinks buried in that veil of white paint. The food court also helps save this mall from coming off as some kind of minimalist hallway. I am a little late, but I should remind you that this was filmed in early February of 2019, so there may be a number of stores you see in this video that are now long gone, like that Payless we just passed. Alright, alright. The skylights and high ceilings do help me come around a little to this mall. I still find it bland, but the ceilings do save this mall, making it feel open and airy, as opposed to some malls where you might feel a little claustrophobic. As we continue toward the theater, 
you can see how far gone some parts of this mall are. There are a couple occupied stores here and there, but one side of this corridor is almost completely empty. And then in some of these storefronts, you'll find a graveyard of buckets, which makes me wonder if the roof is starting to leak. And here we are by the doorways that lead to the theater. The theater is a detached unit, and there was some construction work happening on the mall's exterior. I do wonder what was happening behind those tarps and scaffolds. Trimming back space? Making way for a large new tenant? Some kind of selective demolition? If someone knows what's happening, do tell me in the comments below. Regarding the crime rate of Durham and Northgate Mall, I am aware that crime rates are higher here compared to the likes of Raleigh or Winston-Salem, but I didn't really feel any sense of dread around these places, and I didn't really feel like I was in danger at the mall. While yes, crime rates are certainly higher, that's to be expected with big cities like Durham or Charlotte, but also the per capita does help bring the crime rates down a little so it's not as bad as you might think. Now that said, don't let your guard down. Do keep an eye out on occasion for potential trouble. That pretzel twister saw is actually pretty cool. The neon coupled with the darker tones make it stand right out in that veil of white paint. That, and in my personal opinion, the pretzel twister is great. It is a far superior pretzel to Auntie Annie's. As we return to the food court, we are just about done with Northgate Mall. Overall, it's not quite dead yet, but it does have a pretty bad case of anchoritis. Hopefully management can find a new life for this mall. I know it's possible, but is management up for the task? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, do like and comment your thoughts about Northgate Mall. And if you think others will enjoy the video, do share it. The sharing does help a lot in getting this video out. And if you're new, I welcome you to the channel and invite you to subscribe. Additionally, you can find me at Minds.com and you can make a one-time donation on Ko-fi if you wish to do so which is linked in the description below. Also linked is an invitation to the Dead Malls Discord, where you can continue discussion about Northgate Mall, as well as the malls of the Research Triangle with me and many other creators. Until next time, this is Doomy Grunt wishing you farewell, and the Northgate Mall, good luck.